G'day and welcome back to Duck Solar Gaming and Hort Belleron. Yes, we are finally back after six weeks or so of not having a PC. And at least three weeks thereabouts of not having videos. We are back up and running. So, let's get into it. We're not going to divulge into what happened. If you want to find out what happened and all that sort of stuff, then um, feel free to check out my Elm Creek episode 59. Um, uh, I go through in that what happened and, and all the, the trials and tribulations. But nonetheless, we are back up and running. So let's get into it. First thing we need to do, though, is obviously have a bit of a recap to see where we are and see what needs to be done. So if we come to the map, firstly, um, so let's recap what we do own and what we're doing. So our main farm is here. Uh, as you can see, what used to be field 38, the main farm, um, about mid next to the river, right hand side of the river here near the bridge, uh, the main farm. Down through here, we've got some orchards uh, producing some fruit. Uh, we also have a uh, tailor shop we've purchased and installed down here or built down here next to our uh, Aunt Emma's shop. We also have a spinnery uh, in here. Uh, we have one sheep pen and we have one set of cow pens uh, which are producing. We have some bees dotted around the place as well. Um, so all the other stuff is basically in the farm there. Field-wise, oh, sorry, up here we have um, a couple of greenhouses up through here, which were replaced from the previous episode. So we replaced the small greenhouses that were there previously with uh, two or three large, extra large Dragon's Den pack greenhouses, which I'll show you a little bit later. Um, so, and we've reworked a little bit of the area through here. Uh, we've also got our fruit processing facility, we've got our oil processing facility, and we've got our chickens, uh, which have been changed to the Dragon Den pack chickens as well. Um, so we've got that there. Um, that's pretty much it for down there. We own fields, well, this CP1, which is fields 40, 41, and 42, which were combined. We own that. That's currently got a crop through it as to as 43 44 and 37 they've all actually got um wheat growing in them so uh that's all good to go there we then have field 36 over here which is our sunflower field so this is what we need to uh plow in now or plow and cultivate and prep ready for planting our sunflowers again now in relation to planting it is we are now in the first day of march so we are at the point where we need to be planting uh, sunflowers now this is the only field that we have left to to prep because our other field our newer field we bought field 30 has been planted with cotton uh, so if we go back over here uh, we can see the cotton if i turn the cotton on and off uh, that's what we planted here last we were on the game save game now we have bought in preparation uh, we've got a cotton trailer up here cotton tag trailer um, we've got also another uh flatline cultivator there we've also bought um if i can find it here somewhere um it's in here somewhere we've actually bought the um cotton harvester in preparation so we're all ready to go for the cotton so when the cotton's ready which will be uh let me see in october um, we'll be harvesting some cotton and that will go into our um spinnery to produce fabric to produce clothing to sell off so in the meantime what we've got left to do is we need to go prep field 36. Um, we also need to look at um, divesting into the farm and, and, and expanding as well. We're going to need to look at expanding our farm out further. Um, and I don't know if we're going to start up the north here or whether I'm going to continue out. I'm thinking the easiest way is just to continue out to the west. Once we own all these, these plots of land out here in the west, um, then we can move on uh, and head north, uh, north of the river, so to speak. So we'll have to wait and see how we plan that out. All right. In the meantime, let's go and grab the the superior class Zerion. And we will take that. All right. So we're going to get that going. All right. We'll go grab a cultivator and get this started. All right. Yeah, grab that one there. That'll do. Okay. Grab you. Thank you. 
All right. And off we go. Uh, I will do this to be a course play course for the cultivation, I think, at this point in time. I've got some other little things we can be doing around the farm, I guess, so we'll just sort of see how things pan out. Um, in fact, no, I'm not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this by hand. I, I, so I warned you now, it's going to be done by hand, so it's going to be very dodgy. Right, we're going to unfold. Okay, and we're going to get stuck into it. Oh, I need to increase my time. There we go. So yeah, thankfully with the, all the PC troubles that we did have, we didn't lose our save game files, um, which was something I was concerned about. Um, it was uh, after going through patch 1.4 with giants and almost losing everything um, in the fact of them screwing the pallets up. And then um, with with the PC going tits up, it was just not a, not a good period of time. And I just... I did wonder at all if I'd ever actually be back to, to YouTube at all. I was just thinking, you know what, it's just not worth it. Um, so anyway, but nonetheless, we're back. And we're going to continue on. Now, I do want to say a big thank you to all those that uh, have subscribed, even even during that period of time, and um, that have that, that continue to support the channel. It is greatly appreciated. Um, so, uh, so thank you. I do also want to go ahead and thank... Uh, our Patreons and our YouTube members um, who support the channel financially. Uh, it is never expected and it is truly greatly appreciated. Um, I really do appreciate uh, giving you some, a little bit of your hard-earned cash to help support my channel uh, and help support my family as well. So one of the things, I'm, obviously we, we have a family of five here and we have a mortgage and everything else to pay and I have a full-time job and all that sort of stuff. So... Um, Money, money's not freely available. It's not as if we can just, if something blows up, we go and buy something new and we're not not big enough that we have uh, supplies that provide us any equipment or anything. Um, we don't make a huge amount of money from from YouTube or anything else like that. And I'm not, I'm not saying that to, to, as, a, as a woe as me, but um, obviously fixing PCs and, and stuff like that is not a high priority, especially when at the same time the PC goes down, we, we end up losing our air conditioning. So at the moment we don't have uh, any heating upstairs in the house in the in the second story. So, um, yeah, we, we need to get that all, all fixed up. We do have gas heater down below, but um, being some of this cold, colder weather we're getting here in Sydney, um, it becomes a bit, bit of a an issue and, and certainly we don't have the, the free for all cash with with mortgage rates going up and everything else to um, just splash around on, on buying a new pc willy-nilly or whatever else so anyway we just deal with what we can deal with so anyway i'm sure you understand that all right now off we go up again Yes. All right. So, what we're going to do? We got to uh, progress on through now. Once we've um, cultivated and seeded this field, it's hurry up and wait to harvest again. <clears throat> now, we're certainly not as invested in production as we are on uh, Elm Creek, for instance. Um, so, there's not a whole lot to do in between uh, once we finish planting and, and all our prepping, and then waiting for a harvest time. So uh, this, this series does tend, does tend to skip a, lot, a little bit more so than, than Elm Creek, for instance. Um, but we'll see what we can do. All right. And I, I do want to preface as well that I'm um, recording this episode, plus a couple more in the same, same time and day as I did a couple of the Elm Creek ones um, as we're getting back into the swing of things. Um, my family is crook, crook as, crook as um, and uh, my wife is currently staying up in her bedroom in bed, um, partly because she's coughing up a lung and she's um, doing it so I can record down here without too much interruption with, with coughing fits, but also the two young ones um, have been sick with coughing. So if you do hear the occasional cough, I apologise. And yes, I know I can't help them being sick and all that sort of stuff, but... Um, at least you know what it is and 
No, not someone dying in the background from not being looked after or whatever else. I must admit, I'm actually getting a bit of a bit of an itchy throat. So um, I may well be coming down what they've got as well. So, so I want to get some episodes recorded, edited up, put up on the on the tube, and um, that way we can be uh, we can be ready to go and not have to worry about um, if we do take ill. All right, I'm going to increase my cruise time, cruise speed. Because when I do lift, I'm not racing away like I did then. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's what we're doing. So anyway, it is nice to see uh, all the snow on the ground. It does make for a very pretty look. But um, we'll just continue to get our work done as we need to. Within reason, I mean, we can't can't mow uh, when, it's snow, when it's got snow. Um, it just it mows, but you don't collect the, the grass seemingly. Um, that's what I found with certainly on um, Elm Creek. Um, so when you mow, you you remove the grass, you remove the snow, but you don't collect the grass. So hmm. that's just the way it is. So that's fine. All right, we'll get ready to do a turn here. Um, things have been, uh, and I, I know I mentioned this in the On Creek episodes as well. A couple of mods have dropped um, in the period of time, and that while I've been uh, offline. So probably one of the most notable ones that I use a lot is the uh, Dragon Den Pack um, by Black Dragon. It's available from the SimplySafeMods.com website, uh, run by our good mate Grizzly Bear Sims, um, and he's uh, updated that with uh, with new production facilities, new new crops from the greenhouse and all that sort of stuff um and i urge you to check it out if you want to check it out uh it's being used on elm creek and i'm also going to get a mod review out i plan on recording that tomorrow um so i should have that out maybe even before you see this video um but i, I do indeed want to showcase it i i did try to do it before the pc died but um i just didn't get around to it so plus i knew there was an update coming um so i didn't I didn't record it because I wanted to capture the update as well. So, um, yeah, go check it out uh, or go check it out in my Elm Creek series. Um, we do use virtually all of it over there at the moment, um, a lot of production work. And uh, if it's your thing, then that's good. But remembering it is for PC only. It's not uh, for console, unfortunately. So, but anyway. Um, yeah, so there's that. Plus, also uh, our, our mate GTX has, has released the Easy Development um, mod again for FS22, same as what you had for FS19. Our go-to for setting up um, videos and things like that um, certainly assists in streaming for, for certainly in the setting up of, of maps and series. Um, but it's also very handy to, to fix other things as you need to occasionally as you go on, or even in solo play. Um, at me. Oh, but again, we will um, we will get a mod review out for that one very soon as well. I know it's been some time since it's been released. Um, however, I can't I can't help that. But I I at least want to uh, show due credit to to GTX and his mod um, by showcasing it for you guys and explaining little bits and pieces that are part of it and where and when you would use it, sort of thing. Okay. I think what we could do now is we could um, you get this guy working with a hired hand. He could finish off the field and we can go off and get another tractor and a cedar and uh, we can come back in and start seeding. 
um, ready to finish this, this off basically in, in one go so to speak and um, and just get prepared as quick as we can ground temperature might be a bit cool for, for seeding but um, yeah we'll, we'll do it anyway all right off he goes right so we're gonna go grab another tractor uh, probably the magnum will be sufficient Actually, we're gonna. Uh, no, the Magnum will do. Uh, we need to do some maintenance on the Magnum, though. Let's do that first. Magnum uh, repair, yes. The McCormick. We'll repair him as well while we're here. There we go. Okay. Right. So we'll grab a seed up. And then we'll also refuel. Because he does need to be refueled. Okay. Now let's just make sure I can seed with this that I want to seed. And we'll just refuel, then we'll head on over and uh, get seeding. Right. <clears throat> Why didn't that repair all the way? Interesting. Hmm. I needed half repair. I don't know why that's the case. But anyway, doesn't matter. We'll we'll just ignore that and we'll continue on anyway. Right. Off we go. And away we go. Let's get this thing started. So we could do this on course play, but obviously uh, we don't really need to. We're not in that much of a rush. So we'll, uh, we'll hydraulically do it for a period of time and then we'll put a hired hand on to finish it off at some point a little bit later on. Same as what we've done with the cultivating. So... Um, as long as we don't get too far ahead of ourselves and, and have the cultivator ripping up what we see, we'll, we'll be okay. Alright, there goes the snow. grass here we can mow in or mow and, and collect um, I don't know how much silage we've got, oh we've got a fair bit of silage stored up but um, we need to make sure we've got plenty of silage, plenty of hay and plenty of straw um, for our cows now in relation to straw and that I don't think we're going to have too much of a problem, oh the way it does that with the feeder but anyway um yeah, so that, that shouldn't be too much of an issue, we'll, uh, but we do want to check on that um, before we get too far down the line as well, because I want to make sure we've got uh, more than enough to sustain that, and obviously we need wheat to sustain uh, our chickens, and we also need grass or hay to sustain the sheep. But I think generally, though, we're, we're okay. We've, we've got more than enough supplies at the moment, and we've got enough um, crop coming through that uh, we shouldn't have too much of an issue.
So I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you've um you've all been well and uh, and looking after yourselves um, while we've we've been uh, in our um, imposed exile, so to speak. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully you're all uh, swimmingly healthy and all that sort of stuff, uh, and families all well and good, and that's that's all we can ask for. Mm, hopefully you're just sitting down with a nice warm brew or a cold brew, depending on where you are, and uh, watching the video and, uh, and taking it all in. Okay. Probably do another another header row, and then I think we'll do up downs. Yeah, good one, Duck. That's why we tend to use a hired hand or course play, because we, uh, we can't drop straight to save ourselves. Hopefully it won't come through this far with the cultivator. Good stop and raise. Yes, good lad. Right. Magnum's getting a good old wobble on in this field. So I decided this year we're not going to go to Agquip. Agquip uh, is a um, big, big uh, farming uh, show that's out at Gunnedah. And um, it's back on this year. It's been off the last couple of years because of uh, COVID. Um, but uh, it's a bit late in the day and we're a bit busy with work, so I can't really justify um, heading off next month for, for a day or two um, in the middle of the week out, uh, out west. So um, unfortunately, we're going to give it a miss this year. I do plan on going next year. I'm going to make sure that I, I plan that out um, and we go next year. Um, but yeah, unfortunately we won't get there this year, so that's a bit of a shame. Um, but we'll see how things go. I mean, I've also injured my knees, both knees are playing up, um, and I, I certainly wouldn't be in a, in a good state to be running around, um, or walking around, uh, the size of, uh, the, uh, presentation for, for Agquip. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll give it a miss this year. Unfortunately, I was looking forward to it, but uh, yeah, we'll give give it a miss. If you're uh, going to be heading out to Agquip, let me know. And then, of course, uh, let me know how you find it. I think what I might do there is we might uh, put my hired hand, off he goes. All right, we're going to go back and have a look and see what else we need to get done around the farm um, before we do anything else. Because it's almost the time of uh, ending the episode. Got a bit of um, produce in here that should be probably put in the warehouse. Oh, I've got plenty of produce here. Here's our um, new greenhouses. So we've got one, two, three, four in there. Now, what I need to do is I actually need to go and turn off the garlic. Um, 
because uh, as part of the Dragon Den Pack, the garlic is there being produced, but it's not used as yet. So uh, we just need to turn off the garlic. Um, it'll be used later on in an upcoming uh, update to the pack, but for now we don't need garlic, so we'll turn all that off. All right, so what I might do is I might go grab the McCormick. Um, yeah, we'll grab the McCormick. And uh, we'll take you down and uh, get the trailers and we'll put some of that stuff away, I think. Uh, what we could do... Um, yes, there's the new chicken coop. As you can see, we've moved some things around here and, and realigned things. Um, just trying to think. I need to put in um, this, the factory. Now, I don't know where I'm going to put the factory. That's the problem. Um, now, we can't afford the factory just... I would like to get it going so as we can get um, more produce or products out. Um, nowhere through there. I do need to get to the front and the back of the of this. I've got any other land really anywhere to um, to utilise uh, the cotton. I could I could utilize this area of land over here somehow, somewhere. Um, that's probably about the best location there, I would say. All right, let's let's do that. Let's um let's prep this area here. Uh, we need to make it level. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna level it as per that there. Lowering it a bit there, raising it through there. Raising it a lot through there. And then we're going to smooth this part of it out. Now that. Right. Up. Now. Reduction. And we're going to put this in. Where is it? Like this. Right. So. Um. It's sitting a bit high there, isn't it? Uh, rotate that around. There, that'll do. Um, is that going to get in the way of the field, though? Possibly. Uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Now, um... I need to just tidy up the landscaping here again a bit more. Whoops. Now I could remove those pines out of there. I'm just going to leave them there for now. Let's change that level of the ground again. Um, nothing I can really do about that for the moment. That's okay. Um, 
As long as we're doing headers and they're round corners, that, that won't have an impact, so that'll be okay. Just going to bring this down in here. Okay, just, uh, just align to the right level. There. All right. I know some people don't like seeing this, like the landscape and all that sort of stuff, but I know some other people do. So if you don't like it, turn away. That's okay. For those of you that do like it, well, hopefully you're seeing what we can do. Now, someone did mention on a comment on my landscaping tutorial uh, or how to uh, about the fact that they can't use this on, can't use the, the strength part of it on. Um, consoles um i will have a look at that and see what we can do there but um right just need to go back over here for a minute uh visit you right now this is where you all need to turn away really quickly okay right there we go now uh we're going to just landscape this in here so we go through there and out through the front through here there we go that's fine now uh going to the back We need to get access to the back to tip product in. Now this is going to be a bit problematic, I know, but uh, we'll see. We'll just see how things pan out with it. Um, it may be okay. I may even be able to get down there. I reckon what we'll end up doing, in fact, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Um, where are we at time-wise? Running a bit over time, but I know, I know, like I said, some people do like watching and seeing how we do things, so um, I'm going to do that. So we're going to get rid of these trees, like so. Like that. That's it. Right. Now, come back into here. Now I'm going to have to move. Uh, come back here. There we go. Right. Come back into here now. We're going to go landscaping. Uh, there. Square. Okay. Now, that. What we're going to do is I'm going to come out to the road. Like that. And then that way we've got enough room to, to swing around and bring a trailer around through there as we need to. that all the way up take some time it, you can't rush this part of it I mean you can but you won't get the desired finish you want that now i'm going to put decoration i'm going to put a fence in through here to there and then i'm going to bring a fence all the way down here 
not enough money. All right, well, we're not going to put any more fencing in. Right, um, I will finish off my landscaping. Go through there like that. Okay, there we go. Now, that's done. Now what we can do is we can quickly set that up. Uh, where I can find it. Uh, and what we can produce now is going to be some fruit salad. So um, we're going to go fruit salad without grapes and salad. Um, so there we go. And it'll start receiving um, fruit because it's on distribute. And we're going to bring some of our greenhouse products over here as well. That's what we're going to do here. Uh, and like I said, we're going a little bit over time. But hopefully you don't mind that. We're going to just take one load of our greenhouse product over to there and get that up and running. Okay. Okay, and we're going to be collecting, unfortunately, some garlic, but that's okay. We'll, um, we'll just bring that back and put it in the warehouse. Right, so set the trailers to load. We'll just come along, grab all the products from here as we're going along. I don't think I could get any closer to those if I tried to back then. Just nudge them in that lot. Okay, so now we're full. Right. Now, I think I can, I think I can. Come on. This is really for a bigger tractor to do, not the small McCormick. But it will, it'll get there eventually. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> oh, the transmission on this thing is going to be dead. Come on. You'll get there. All right, but there, that, that, so that will be this episode. We'll um, we'll end it when we get to the delivery point. But uh, we've wasted about five minutes getting up the hill. No, not really, but there we go. All right, and off we go. Right. So, yes, yeah, so I hope you're enjoying uh, the series. hope you're enjoying that we're back with the series for a start. Um, I know Hort Belleron is not one of the most popular maps and um, doesn't tend to get as much viewer uh, sightings as what uh, the other maps do. Um, but I really do enjoy the map, actually. I, I, it's grown on me a lot. Um, so uh, give it a chance. Um, yeah, it's not an American map, I know. and it's, it's, uh, There are some other maps that have come out that may be better than it, but um, I think for a Giants map, it's actually a very good map. Um, very picturesque, and I do, I do enjoy it. So, um, yeah, give it a go. All right, we're going to head on over here and get rid of this. So, yeah, so um, don't forget, if you uh, aren't already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well. That way you're made aware of when new videos are released and available on the channel. Don't forget to uh, press that like button as well, because that helps us with that dreaded Google algorithm. Um, it helps more people get to know that the channel is here and there's uh, videos to watch and all that sort of stuff and helps us grow the channel. And the more the channel grows, the better off we all are. Well, sort of. Anyway, 
Uh, don't forget to come and join us on uh, Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. Details are all down below. Um, the Twitch, we do have a Twitch channel, app, but we just haven't been using it, and we're not going to use it at this point in time. Uh, moving forward for a little bit, we're going to concentrate on just YouTube uh, for both um, recorded content and streaming. So um, come see us on uh, on YouTube. We'll, we will start uh, getting some some streaming happening soon. I just need to get back into uh, the, the flow. We're getting videos all queued up, ready to go, and then um, then we can look at getting into some streaming. So um, that will be coming at some stage soon. Oh, need to clean that up with my landscaping. All right, but here we go. We're going to deliver this off, and then that will be it for this episode. Yes, I know garlic's not accepted here. All right, but there you go. So we've got some things done today. We've we've got our field planted, um, all but planted. It's almost finished. We've got it cultivated, um, and we've got all our stuff over there for the salad. So that's that's going well. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for watching. Like I said. I um, hope you've enjoyed the uh, series. What have you done there? Man, seriously? Here we go back and reseed that part. All right. Anyway, that's okay. Uh, again, thanks very much for watching. And we'll see you again very, very soon. I'm back here at Duck Solar Gaming and Hort Belleron. See you later. Bye.